Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. If this is your first time here or a repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If that is something you're interested in, please come back for more. If you're only interested in watching videos, there will be more links in the description box below. Today we are taking to the Garrison Crossing, which is a bridge, it used to be called Fort York Pedestrian and Bicycle Bridge. So they reconstructed the bridge about let's say, late 2019 when they finished it. So I remember taking this bridge long before when it was not done yet and it was very old. And uh, that time I crossed it probably a couple of times and today this is the first time I'm going to see it after completing the reconstruction so this is a Fort York area there are lots of nice condos here and on our left there's the Coronation Park uh, which is a nice park and I'm going to do some more videos in this park and walking along the lake in the future It's not that cold today, it's about minus 10 and you can see some flurries but it's not a lot of snow. We had a heavy snow about a couple of days ago but today you can see the roads are all clear but there are snow on the side of the roads. So the street is 4 year Boulevard. And we'll just wait here for the next walk light. coming from the exhibition place and it goes to the Bathurst so there's one going to the Bathurst station and the other one is going to Union station So there's an army vehicle here which is a light armored vehicle and you can if you're interested you can read this later on you can just pause it and you can see that lots of snow on the ground and I'll just try to get a little bit closer 
Okay, here's how it looks. And you can see that it's messing up my shoes. So we'll just go on the front side of the vehicle. And this is a vehicle on the front side. And some more information right here in recognition of the soldiers of 32 Canadian Brigade Group. So let's continue the walk. So this is a historic site, uh, Fort York National Historic Site, and there's a museum on the right, not this one, but above, beyond that. So this is to be the old Fort York, but the new museum has moved slightly on the right, which uh, I don't think we can see from here but it's kind of past this area so Strawn Avenue is coming up and that's where we're going to turn right and at one point we're going to cross the bridge Liberty Village right ahead. I'm on top Guardian Express here. So I have gloves in my right hand and my left hand. I didn't wear any gloves. And still, uh, it's not, the fingers are not freezing today, so you can actually go out without wearing gloves. And I don't feel any wind, so the temperature doesn't feel like that bad, because there is no wind. Look at, look at this area, the bankway, and they're just, you know, making uses of the spaces under the roof, or under the flyover, and you can see some information right here. And it stretches a few blocks. So this is just the beginning here and it goes all the way up to the bathers or possibly beyond bathers.
So it looks like snow is a little bit increasing. It was just a, a few flurries now. It looks like it started to increase the volume of the snow. And I'm going to show you on the right. Lots of snow here. So if you take a look here. You see that all trees died due to the winter but they will be alive again when summer comes. So that's the nature of wonder in Canada. Um, all the trees and everything they died for six years I mean six months and they become they come to life again after six months so whenever I travel I told this to people in the hot countries and they find it very amazing and hard to live So here's some rail tracks and let's take, take a look at that and I don't see any train coming so all these tracks are going to the Indian station and there are different types of trains here UP, GO train, VRL so let's continue the walk I'm working on a new video which is the Jabra Elite 85T review and unboxing which should be posted in the next couple of days and then I have another watch video which should be coming up too so on this channel you'll never find the same topic or subject again and again it's just a reflection of you know a variety of topics and subjects that interest me and definitely some of you will find that interesting as well so we can make a right turn here or Nancy Street uh, let me just show you a bit around here so lots of condos some of them are brand new, even they haven't finished building yet. I'm going to make another turn here. Looks like this is not the place what I wanted. So let's just keep going the other way. This road looks like leading nowhere.
Wellington Street coming up and I believe we have to make a right turn there so you can see a nice view of downtown on the right but because of snow it's kind of cloudy you can see the CN Tower So let's make a turn at Wellington Street West. And before I turn, just a view of this side. Sorry. So let's keep going on this street and see where it leads us. So on the left there's a nice park here which you can see and on our right is the bridge you're going to cross. So here is Garrison Crossing. This is the road leading to the bridge and you can see some of the buildings from here and actually it looks like a very nice white small bridge so the view is very amazing and you can have you can see the full view of downtown from here the sky scrapers and tall buildings the skyline of downtown toronto and there's something a dome like place i'm not sure what is that So I see a lot of people out in the snow and some kids are playing on the snow with the sliders.
So this is what it looks like, very small bridge and goes above the track which you can see right there. And then we have the view of downtown from here. The center is kind of hiding the clouds and snow I think it take out probably about like two minutes to cross the bridge or crossing on foot And looks like there's another crossing which probably is smaller than the one we just passed. He's got super here. And we're going to look back from here. So let's view of the condos right here. See the bridge we're crossing from here looks really nice. It's slightly curved. Let's continue on the other one. So here is another and railroad tracks. And another glimpse of downtown Toronto. I can see a dog. Looks like Shepherd, German Shepherd playing on the snow. Yes, yes. Yeah. So There's a place to sit. So I'm hoping to see some trains, but I don't think there is any. So 
So from here we have the option to take the stairs down this way which is going to be you know through the park and another option would be just to take this pathway so I think I'm going to choose this option and we'll see if we can see another train by the time we're still here but although it doesn't look like I'm going to look back, so this is another side of Garrison Crossing. I'll see it here. And this is how it looks from here. So there's a military burying ground, so it looks like this is a historic site. And you have the highway on top. And basically this is where we started, or where we were before taking the road across the street. And we we'll just look back and you can see a glimpse of the garrison crossing. This is the bentway I showed you a little bit before and this is just another part of it. And again if you go straight underneath it then you can go a few blocks. So this is where I'm going to end my video. Thank you for watching this video. There will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.